Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, I didn't really want to talk about this article um, for a couple reasons. One, um, this wasn't really that big of a deal for me, but seeing as a lot of people are talking about this and still today are still talking a little bit about this, I was just like, you know what, why not talk about this since I can't find any other topics to really talk about in regards to DC or Marvel, Star Wars, Mortal Kombat, or wrestling. So I was just like, you know what, why not talk about this? Um, because I know this has been um, the biggest thing talked about uh, for, I think I think for the past two days, this has been the, the biggest thing talked about. And um, I know this definitely uh, made a lot of people on a certain side of the DC fandom really, uh, <sighs> really... I don't want to say scared, but really angry at James Gunn, <laughs> as as they always are. They always get mad at James Gunn for whatever reasons, um, but for, just for all sorts of weird reasons, they get mad at James Gunn. It's so weird, um, but uh, yeah, man, so James Gunn says that Superman Legacy has been in the works for several months, even before he and Peter Safran came in to become the co-CEOs of DC Studios. So that right there got a lot of people mad and that Henry Cavill was always basically going to be ousted. And um, yeah, so let's just get in this article now without wasting any more time and see what it says here. So it says here on movieweb.com that DC Studios co-head James Gunn is clarifying some more Superman legacy rumors. Back in October, it was announced that Gunn and Peter Safran would be steering the ship at DC Studios that followed Henry Cavill returning to the role of Superman with a cameo in Black Adam, followed by an announcement from the actor that he'd be back as the Man of Steel in more upcoming movies. Controversy then ensued when Cavill revealed that his return as Superman wouldn't be moving forward after all, as Gunn and Saffron had other plans in mind for that character in their new DCU. According to Gunn, rebooting Superman wasn't an idea, wasn't an idea that had popped up into his head upon getting the DC Studios job in October. The filmmaker has confirmed that Superman Legacy was a project that was already in the works, intended from the start to be totally separate from Zack Snyder's movies and the Cavill version of the character. Gunn cleared this up on Twitter in response to a fan asking about when Superman Legacy had gotten started. And this is where the, the controversy started. So here are the tweets. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry. Are they here? Oh, they are here then. Um, gotcha. I think there was some confusion being, you said Superman Legacy was there before you and Peter came in. It was. I was hired to write Superman Legacy over six months ago. So that's it there. And then James Gunn says that Henry Cavill was not fired. This goes back to comments um, Gunn previously made in a Hollywood Reporter interview. He claps back at critics who say that he and Saffron had fired Cavill from his Superman role, arguing that the actor was never fired by them to begin with. If Superman Legacy was already in the works long before Gunn knew about the Black Adam cameo, he's already gotten a vision formulated in his mind for what he wants his movie to be. We didn't fire Henry. Henry was never cast, Gunn said. For me, it's about who do I want to cast as Superman and who do the filmmakers we want, we have, want to cast. And for me, for this story, it isn't Henry. Gunn continued, I like Henry. I think he's a great guy. I think he's getting deed around by a lot of people, including the former regime at the comp at this company, which he did get really messed around a lot. He got fucked around a lot by a lot of the people in the old regime, like Walter Hamada and et cetera. Just a lot of the people that were still there, like really messed with him a lot. And that really messed up DC as a whole because of them rushing everything and just, just, just because of all sorts of problems that they were causing with what they were doing with Superman and what they were doing with all, all these characters and making it feel directionless, like just all sorts of stuff. Um, but this Superman is not Henry for a number of reasons. No casting has, has yet been done for Superman Legacy, but the film has been released. Okay, so let's talk about the release date. Okay. All right, so this is pretty much it for the article. This is just talking about a bunch of uh, other stuff, but... Um, post your comments down below, though. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, are you still upset that, uh, that, that Cavill is gone? 
Um, I'm curious to hear you guys think about this because I know a lot of people have a lot of mixed reactions on this, especially on what Gunn is doing, what Gunn has just said here, what he said in that tweet. So, I mean, like, I'm, let me know. what. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about this. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of them at DC or Superman specifically, uh, you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, come follow me over on Twitch and Discord. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So, yeah. Um, until then, though, everybody, I will see you all later. And goodbye.